Oh, go on then, we've held off for long enough. It's time to talk about black holes. I'm Dr Greg Brown, one of the astronomers at the Royal Observatory Greenwich, and today I'm going to be talking about one of the most mysterious objects in the universe. Gravity is the force which holds us to the surface of the Earth, but it's also the force which keeps stars round. The gravity of the star is constantly trying to crush it inwards, but the heat at the centre of the star is constantly pushing outwards, a bit like a really big hot air balloon. In really big stars, when that heat begins to run out, the star collapses so violently that the inner core gets crushed down to an incredibly small size. A huge amount of mass contained in a tiny area means that the gravity goes off the scale, and in fact there is no force in the universe capable of stopping it from collapsing all the way down to an infinitesimal point. A singularity or a black hole. Now, contrary to popular belief, black holes are not grand cosmic vacuum cleaners. The only way they can attract things to them is with gravity. So, if you were to replace our sun with a black hole of the same mass, all of the planets would continue to orbit around it as though nothing had happened. Granted, we would all be dead from lack of heat, but still, cosmically speaking, nothing would have changed. The real danger with a black hole is getting too close. Not only does Einstein's theory of general relativity tell us that time will go uh, wibbly, but the forces that you'll be under will be extremely unpleasant. Fall feet first into a black hole and your feet will be pulled towards the black hole faster than your head will. The result is that you will be stretched, a process known as spaghettification. And then if you cross the event horizon... There is nothing in the universe, not even light itself, that is fast enough to escape. Thankfully, the nearest black hole to us is 1100 light years away, so we're safe. For now.